Hi, have you heard about the eclipse? Did you? You didn't? Hi everyone, welcome to O'Rourke's Little Field. At about 1.50, it's going to get dark here for about four minutes, but don't be scared, okay? Okay? Oh, don't be scared. It'll be okay. Today is Eclipse Day. It is 11.37. We have sun and love, really thin clouds coming and going. Uh, we're not seeing a huge influx of people here. We still haven't set up our shop yet. I'm afraid to open the camper. I haven't opened it up. I know there's gonna be mouse in there or something. I'm so afraid. We have these big old mice out here. They're Norwegian rats is what they are. They were imported in here and something years ago. Some guy was telling me. Um, we're coming out here to where my hugel culture's going. What is that? And I haven't gotten it going yet. I can't dig the ground out here. And there's I'm seeing so much rock in it. I really don't want to use my tiller down here. I'm gonna I gotta bring that big old gate out. I wanna Look at all this shade, man. What time is it? So I've decided to move the Hugel culture up the hill. There is just not going to ever be enough sun back here. And we got to move all this big wood. I still don't know where my septic lines are. I have a feeling they don't leach very far. And we're not digging into the ground. We're going on top of the ground. And I don't know that that system will even ever get used. We really don't know. We do want to turn the water onto the sink, though, get that going, have, so we can wash up out here. And I can wash antiques and stuff. But uh, as for the septic, we don't know, but I had absolutely, there's no, no sun down there. Right now, there looks like there's sun, but these trees are fixing to fill in. And as they're filling in, I know that this is the only spot that really gets good sun besides the front. And this can't go out in front of the cabin. There's, I'm not putting it out there. I want it back here. I think it'll be really cute to do a really nice, I'm gonna do my nice fence, I'll do a nice gate. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the start. I have all the wood I need. I have all the dry leaves I need. I've been waiting on the green. I now have the green. I just have to go harvest it up. But this is going to be a really good start. We've got to kind of make our line here 
And I, yes, I'm sitting right on top of this stuff here. So, hold on, hold on. Where's the line, Kevin? Hold this all the way so I can lay it off. All right, I just want to make sure you saw the line. Got way too much to have in there. We just want to make a line for our big tree. Because the big tree will be, the big tree will be the edge of my bed. My raised bed, because I'm not about to go buy nothing that even natural. I used it before, it worked good. This will be my first layer of pulpy wood. This is going to be the the layer on the leaves on the bottom of the hugel culture. Oh, it's a process. It's like making a sandwich. to do is go over here and get me some dirt and start a little layer on top of this wood right here and and leaves and then I'll come back with the next layer of sticks and leaves and dirt and sticks and leaves and dirt I told Kevin I don't want all the rocks and crud that they have in these flower beds and I'm also curious as to if this dirt came from deep in the ground, because it's it's next to um, the storm shelter. See, there's a rock. There's rocks. I'm not getting the rocks, Kevin. I'm not catching the rocks. 